quick Google search of the place the Eyewitness News Studio and the Times Leader Media Group call home yields dozens of forums where people have openly discussed the pronunciation of the Diamond City. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Bohinski took to the streets in the WB with Times Leader Editor Roger Dupuy to see if they can finally find out the correct way to pronounce the city many of us call home. Eleven letters made from two names separated by a hyphen. Sounds simple, right? Wilkes Bar. Do you ever hear anybody say it different? All the time. What do they say? Wilkesbury. But the correct way is Wilkes Bar. Bar. <laughs> With two R's. <laughs> Wilkesbury. 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 We are in a place named for John Wilkes and Isaac Berry. <laughs> I have my theories of why there's a, a bunch of pronunciations. Curator of the Preservation Society that bears the city's name, Tony Brooks says that those theories center around the Wyoming Valley's immigrants. And you come to this very odd naming town with a hyphen in it too, to boot, and I think they just mispronounced it, that's all. And then that their children and their grandchildren then pronounce this, all these variations. A lot of people think it's one word, and it's, well, as you see, it's two. Oh, Wilkes-Barre. 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 Downtown. Actually, the only hyphenated city in America. There's another hyphenated city on North Carolina, Winston-Salem, but they were two different cities put together. So we're not two different cities, we're the same city. Mayor Brown says even with being the largest city in Luzerne County, the name after the hyphen is just as confusing to locals as it is to visitors. It's so uncommon a name, and it happens all the time. I mean, we've had people that perform it to Kirby and, and pronounce it the wrong way. So I get up and I shout and I say, hey, wait a minute, I'm the mayor, it's Wilkes Barry. Ironic, since Isaac Barry is quite the popular guy. He has two other towns named for him. There's Barry, Vermont, and Barry, Massachusetts. And you know, if you call up to those towns, no one has a difficulty in pronouncing the name. The proper French pronunciation, Wilkes Barry. Ouais, bien sûr, c'est comme ça. Because he was an Irishman of French derivation. His name was Barre. Barre. Wilkesbury? Wilkesbury? Something like that. Wilkesbury. We're at Wilkesbury. Whether you call it Wilkesbury or Wilkesbar or Wilkesbury, come on out. It's a great city. It's a beautiful city. Wilkesbury is the correct pronunciation. This guy just informed me. For everybody out there, I made a mistake the first time. Different outfit, different answer. Now I know the correct pronunciation is Wilkesbury. Now Wilkes Bar. Wilkesbury, everybody. Reporting in Wilkesbury, I'm Chris Bohinski, 2822 Eyewitness News. Now, Tony Brooks also shared that the city's Chamber of Commerce began a strawberry in Wilkesbury campaign back in the 1920s to encourage people to pronounce the city's name correctly, but it really did not catch on with the residents. By the way, a nice joint effort with our friends at the Times Leader, and you can check out the Times Leader version of this story in the Friday print edition and online at timesleader.com.